Carter here and today we're going to be discussing how expensive Bulgaria is. So Bulgaria is a relatively cheap country, however that view is hugely dependent on where you're coming from, your home currency and your, your style of travel. Um, also what you like to eat, drink and uh, how, how you spend money on accommodation. Yes, yeah, pretty much everything. <laughs> Thanks. Uh, now, first and foremost, Bulgaria used the Bulgarian Lev, which is broken down into Studinki. Um, so for a two-week stay, uh, it will be approximately, uh, or you can comfortably stay there f for about 1,000 to 1,300 1, Lever, which is just about 500 pounds or a bit more. Now, this includes uh, general eating out, a few mountain lifts, um, transport and possibly your accommodation but not your flights okay so <laughs> let's split it down here into first of all eating out so for the average uh, two-person meal at a restaurant you're pretty probably aiming between 20 and 30 lev uh, which is about 8 to 12 pounds uh, then you can also buy a waffle which will be uh, one lev or about 40 pence and then you can get a Bulgarian dish, which is uh, three uh, kebabshta, which are real meat sausages, along with uh, a bread bun and then a sauce of your choice. And this will cost you uh, four lev, which will be just under two pounds. Um, so that's kind of the price range you'd be looking at. Now, for public transport, we're going to be looking at Sofia, which is the capital. Um, and the transport there is quite good. They have buses, trams, trolley buses. Uh, taxis and a newly built underground system. Now for a single tri trip on all transport except the metro, uh, so the underground uh, and taxis, uh, is going to be one length 60 which is about 60 pence or uh, you can buy a 10 ticket stack for 12 lever. Uh, for the metro it will cost you one left for a single trip or if you are go going to be using the metro m more than four times per, uh, for the day, then you can buy a daily ticket for four lever, which will give you access to all transport in Sofia, including the buses, trams, and trolley buses and metro, but not the taxis. Uh, so actually speaking of taxis, if you are planning to use a taxi in Sofia, the most trusted company to go with would probably be OK Supertrans. Now they charge 70 Stutinki for a start charge, which is about 30 pence. And then from there, they charge 79 Stutinki per kilometer traveled during the day, and then 90 Stutinki per kilometer traveled at nighttime. And on top of that, you'll pay 22 Stutinki per minute that you're waiting in traffic or wherever. Um, now, there are quite a lot of copycat taxi companies in Sofia. Um, so for a detailed guide on how to spot the real and the fake ones, uh, check out our blog post below. Uh, the link will be down in the description. Okay. Uh, and finally, uh, the big money eating monster is, is accommodation, uh, like usual. So for an average three-star uh, hotel, it's, it's going to be about 45 lev for a single room and about 60 lev for uh, a double. And for a hostel dorm, it's about 12 to 15 lev. Or if you want a private room in a hostel, it's actually uh, for 50 lev for a single and I think 70 for a double, which is horrific. Uh, so hostels are not the cheapest option if you need a double room. Okay. Uh, so that's what we have time for today. So everything that we've talked about in this uh, video is in a more detailed blog post on our website. So if you check the link down below in the description, it will lead you there and give you all the tables and everything else. So follow us on Facebook and Twitter. Uh, don't forget to comment if you have any other details that you wish to share and give it a thumbs up if you really liked it. And if uh, you want to hear more tips on life and travel, remember to subscribe. See you, See you next, next time. time. Bye.